Welcome to Augmented You. My name is Jan, I'm your host, this time filming in a hotel room, making sure you know about all the latest and greatest in AI and are equipped with information needed to thrive in the age of artificial intelligence. If you're new to the channel, welcome, thanks for stopping by. We post videos every week, videos covering all the key topics, all the key happenings from the AI world, because of Augmented You, we believe that you should be mastering AI and not AI mastering you. So make sure to click the subscribe button, click the bell notification icon so that you get notified every time we post a new video. And if you are already a member of this community and have been following us for a while, thank you, welcome back, we appreciate you. Today's video, AI breakthroughs. The way I want to structure this, the news, what has happened, the impact, why you should know about it, why it matters, the action. How can you prepare for it? How can you benefit from it? Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Starting today with Microsoft going nuclear. As we know, AI is extremely computationally demanding. It is power hungry, it is energy hungry. And multiple AI leaders, leaders of AI companies have said it, energy computation demands are the bottleneck, bottleneck for developing the next generation of models. And they're actively trying to address this issue. Microsoft is now making moves. Microsoft chooses infamous nuclear site for AI power. America's Three Mile Island energy plant, the site of the worst nuclear accident in US history is preparing to reopen as Microsoft looks for ways to satisfy its growing energy needs. The tech giant said it had signed a 20-year deal to purchase power from the Pennsylvania plant, which would reopen in 2028 after improvement, so in four years. The agreement is intended to provide the company with a clean source of energy as power-hungry data centers for artificial intelligence expand. The plan will now go to regulators for approval. So Microsoft is looking towards nuclear energy to power their AI revolution. And staying on the topic of energy of computational needs, Aramco and Grok sign a deal. Grok, a few videos back, we covered Grok versus NVIDIA. Grok is a chip maker. They are focused on inference. So they have developed, they have developed a language processing unit. It is a chip designed, tailored to run serve AI models. So they're focused on inference. So that is the stage of the model where the model is already providing predictions when we are using the model once it is deployed. So they signed a deal with Aramco to establish the world's largest inferencing data center in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. The strategic collaboration marks a significant step forward in advancing the Kingdom's digital transformation initiatives and solidifying its position as a global leader in AI and cloud computing. What is interesting, the facility will process billions of tokens per day by the end of 2024. So this is by the end of this year, just in the next few months, and be able to onboard hundreds of thousands of developers in the region and then hundreds of billions of tokens per day with millions of developers by 2025. Billions of tokens, millions of developers. Setting a new industry standard in bringing advanced technology from Grok to the kingdom. Number two, robotics makes an appearance once more. And this week, it is because of Weave Robotics and they introduce Isaac. Let's look at it. Isaac, it is the world's first personal robot that's built for the home. I'm not sure that's true. A few companies have said the exact same line, so I'm not sure which one is actually true. Isaac is designed to help you get more out of every hour. And what's impressive, you can have it soon. We're shipping to our first 30 customers in fall of 2025. So two weeks back, we talked about robotics. We talked about how quickly that field is advancing, moving forward, and what the impact of that would be. The impact of that would be that we would need to start interacting with humanoid robots in everyday environments. And this is now becoming a reality. So by next year, ISEC will be shipped to first 30 customers who will be able to use it at home. Let's look at a video that Weave Robotic, Robotics shares. This is how Isaac looks like. So it is not necessarily designed to look like a human, but it is designed to work, operate in human environments at home. So here we can see Isaac in its natural habitat, in the kitchen, it can move a cup, it can help us. So it does not necessarily look like a human and as mentioned first 30 deliveries in fall of 2025. Let's look at a few more shots of Isaac bringing two glasses of wine while a couple enjoys 
Netflix doing chores, picking up toys, feeding the dog, looking pretty good. So it is designed to do some of those tasks that we humans do not necessarily want to do. It's looking good, it's looking impressive. Let's see if they actually ship first 30 versions of it by fall 2025. Item number three I want to feature today, it's Kling AI's latest release. So Kling AI it is a company developing AI video generation models. And many believe Kling AI, they are the strongest competitor OpenAI has when it comes to AI video generation. OpenAI obviously with their Sora offering, which has not received an update in quite some time. But let's look at Kling 1.5. Our foundation model has undergone a significant upgrade and now we're thrilled to introduce Kling 1.5. Get ready to be amazed by stunning 1080p HD video. So this is impressive, 1080p HD videos generated that are optimized for large screens, delivering significant improvements in overall aesthetics, more natural motion and enhanced text responses. Best of all, the new high quality mode is now available at no additional cost. And then another new feature introduced by Kling AI, this one is coming to Kling 1.0 in its motion brush. With a new motion brush, you can now precisely define the movement of any element within your image. From characters to objects, this gives you unparalleled control over the motion and performance of your videos, allowing you to bring your creative vision to life like never before. Let's look at some examples. So obviously with video and image generation, examples are really all that we care about. And here what they've done is a side-by-side -side comparison, Kling 1.0 with Kling 1.5. And then in both examples, the same prompt is used. The first one, a Chinese girl slowly looks towards the camera with a blurred city night scene in the background. Let's look at Kling 1.0. Very natural looking, looking very, very good. The video generation is smooth. It looks very realistic. Let's look at Kling 1.5. Does it look better? Perhaps it does. I think they both look really, really good. I don't see a major difference. Perhaps in Kling 1.5, the image is even clearer. Let's look at the second example. The camera zooms in to show the monkey's face. His hair is fluffy, his eyes are bright, his face is handsome, and his expression is a little naughty. So let's look at Kling 1.0. Again, very realistic. Even the head movements are very, very realistic. The head movements are very sharp. And then Kling 1.5. Very clear. But I would say that the left one, Kling 1.0, actually looks more realistic. The right one seems, looks more AI generated. Let's look at an another example. Let's look at a man eating instant noodles on the street. This one looks really good, really realistic. Even the background, people moving in the background looks very, very realistic. And then on the right, let's see if it's better. Perhaps, perhaps a little bit better. It's a little bit clearer, but I think again on the left, it looks a little bit more realistic. So if that is what, what you're looking for, I would say that Kling 1.0 is doing really, really well. Obviously this is just three examples. Let's look at some examples or demonstrations of their motion brush feature. So we can now select an object in an image and it should move. And that's exactly what it happens. So you can specify the direction in which you want it to move. And then this feature does it. This is, this is looking very good. Let's look at this example. This one is even more complex and it is a cat jumping over a bowl. So first, even the object has to be correctly recognized and then movement is generated. With movement, it is still visible that it's pretty tricky for AI to generate realistic movement. So we see that sometimes it is not quite precise. It is a little bit blurred, but it, it is getting better with every release. Very impressive. So this is the latest release from Kling AI. It is looking very good. And we're waiting for the next Sora release. The ball is now on OpenAI's side when it comes to AI video generation. Impact, let's discuss the impact, starting with Microsoft. They're now securing nuclear energy to power the next generation of their AI models. Aramco and Grok also signing a deal, establishing a partnership to build the world's largest inference center. So what does this mean? As we've said it, AI is extremely computationally demanding. 
It is very power hungry, energy hungry, and multiple AI leaders, Sam Altman included, Microsoft included, have said it. This is a bottleneck preventing us from getting to the next stage, to the next generation of AI models. And this is why they are now all heavily investing into developing, securing, building AI infrastructures, computational infrastructures that will allow them to train and then deploy and run those models, which will be bigger, which will be more capable. And those are just moves towards that direction. What does this mean? This bottleneck will be no more very soon in the next months and years. This bottleneck, computation demands will be fulfilled. Energy demands will be fulfilled. And this is, again, something that will speed up the process of us getting towards artificial gen general intelligence, reaching artificial general intelligence. Second, ISEC from Weave Robotics. What is the impact? It's something that just reinforces what we have already said. Humanoid robots are coming. Robots designed to perform, operate in human environments are coming very soon, sooner than many expect. So ISEC or Weave Robotics, they're promising that ISEC will be delivered to first 30 customers within a year until fall 2025. And I'm sure we can expect more similar promises made from different robotics companies. So this is truly something that is coming again much sooner than many anticipate. Kling AI 1.5, why does it matter? What is the impact? So AI video generation, this is something that has been developed almost in parallel to what we're seeing on the other side with reasoning engines from OpenAI, O1 malls, highly capable or capable of solving advanced tasks. But this field is equally as impressive. So in a very short time, we went from AI being able to generate high quality images to now AI being able to generate high quality videos. And those from Kling 1.5 are truly high quality. So 1080p HD videos, they're looking very good. What is the impact? This will drastically change and transform filmmaking, Hollywood designers, video editors, those fields or people within those fields should be very much aware, very much uh, uh, on the lookout for what is coming out from those companies, from Kling AI, which have now established themselves as the leader in this space and also features, features such as the motion brush. We are now able to generate movement within an object that is currently static within an image. If someone told you about this five years ago, you would not have believed it. Now it's here, now you can use it. The action. How can you benefit from it? How can you prepare for the items that we have featured today? Nuclear energy will now be used to power AI. World's largest AI inference infrastructure being built. It will be operational by the end of the year. What does this mean? AI is coming, the next generation of AI is coming very soon, and those models will be bigger and more capable. Will this impact you in a massive way? How can you prepare for it? Invest your time and energy into understanding this technology better, into understanding the capabilities of, it, of this technology, into understanding what this technology can do and what it can't do. And understanding this will help you develop your skills in the right direction. You will need to become an effective user of AI, of AI tools, of generative AI power tools. So understand this technology within your domain, apply this within your domain, and then look at the tasks that you're performing day to day. Are those tasks that will be automated by AI? This is not where you should develop your skills. Are those tasks that will be augmented by AI? This is where you should be an effective user of those tools. And then are those tasks that will not be automated by AI. This is where you should invest most of your energy, develop skills that will not be overtaken by artificial intelligence models. Yet another robotics announcement, this one from Weave Robotics and the robot Isaac, first 30 shipments made by fall 2025. So this is coming, robots operating in human environments, at our homes, at our work, this is coming. This is coming very soon, already in 2025, and then at scale in 2026 and 2027 and onwards. How do you prepare for it? Well, first anticipate it, accept it. This is something that is coming. And then you need to be, again, good at understanding this technology. How do you communicate with this technology and with ro robotics, with robots? I think what is very important, understanding what they can do and what they cannot do and what they will not do. So as we can see, those robots are designed to take care of chores, take care of cleaning. This is something very good. But what they will not take care of is relationships, is raising your kids, is building a relationship with your friends. This is something that those roles will not do. And this is something that you will need to focus your time on and 
dedicate your attention to. Lastly, Clink 1.5, latest AI video generation model released by Clink AI. It is very good. It is capable of generating 1080p high quality videos and then also their motion brush feature, which is looking very impressive. So how to prepare for this? Expect that very soon we will be unable to distinguish between AI generated content and real content. What does this mean? This means that you need to put in extra effort to verify your sources to verify, double check the information you use for decision making and information that you share with your friends and family and others. And hopefully the regulations will help us from misinformation being spread. And then if you are in video editing, you understanding you being able to effectively use tools that are coming out, generative AI support tools that are coming out is something that will be very important. You failing to understand those tools, you failing to be able to use those tools effectively will lead to you falling behind the competition. But again, this is something that can help you do your work better today. And this is something that will be even more powerful in the very near future. This is it for this edition of AI Breakthroughs. We have Microsoft investing in nuclear energy to power the next generation of their AI models. We have Grok and Aramco building the world's largest AI inference center. We have Robot Isaac from Weave Robotics. First 30 shipments will be made by fall 2025. And then we have Kling 1.5 AI video generation model from Kling AI capable of generating 1080p high quality videos. Thank you for watching. If you enjoy such content, click subscribe, click the bell notification icon so that you get notified every time we post a new video. Thank you and until next time.